Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Brave web browser for desktop rolling out version 1.58, which Brave started pushing out once again late yesterday in my region on the 14th of September. Now, um, there's quite a lot going on uh, with Brave version 1.58, and I do find that with the version upgrades, uh, Brave does push out quite a lot of new tweaks and adjustments uh, with the latest releases. And to double check if we have this latest version, as always, we head to our main menu about Brave and latest version and build for the browser 1.58.124. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has also been upgraded to the latest Chromium version 117.0.5938.62. Now, this is exactly the same as Google Chrome and also includes the same 16 security fixes that rolled out for Google Chrome 117 earlier this week. And in case you missed that video, um, there are 16 security fixes, and one of those is a critical vulnerability, which is a zero day that's already been exploited in the wild. Now, that was patched in Chrome 116, but obviously was pushed out in 117, uh, just to kind of make double sure that everybody is patched. And that's that uh, critical heap buffer overflow in WebP, which I was posting on uh, that's already been exploited in the wild, and I mentioned that quite a bit in previous videos earlier this week. And then over and above that, we get some medium uh, flaws that have been patched and a couple of lows. But nonetheless, 16 security fixes have rolled out, and the main one there is that that zero day has been addressed and has been fixed. Now, I'm um, moving on to the new features, and there's quite a little bit going on, as mentioned. And the first is, if we head over to Brave Rewards, uh, they have implemented Manage Brave Ads on the Brave uh, Rewards page. So we've got this new section, Manage Brave Ads, which I think is nice because it just makes things a lot more clearer and a lot more simple and a little bit more modern. And you can distinguish a little bit better now than it was previously. And I actually think uh, if you are using Brave Rewards like I do, this is a nice handy little UR tweak and adjustment, Manage Brave Ads. Then moving on, and I'm just going to mention this next one. Um, they've enabled the download protection allow list um which is obviously a bit of a, a a a security feature and enhancement there and then they've also added speed reader options for themes fonts and text size now what's that that's all about is that when a page is in speed reader mode um it should provide according to brave an inline toolbar to allow users to change themes fonts and text size light and dark theme will be supported so um that's that uh, those speed reader options now for those different themes, fonts, and text styles, which I think is nice if you are using those features. Now, just to do a demonstration of the next uh, four improvements, um, if you are using vertical tabs, they've improved the vertical tab um, animation. So um, animations that are prevalent and are found in the vertical tabs, those have been improved. And if we move over to the sidebar, they've improved the sidebar slide animation. So you, apparently that now is working a lot better when that sidebar slides out. And they've also updated the lock icon to the tune icon in the address bar. And this is a adjustment that has been rolling out now um, to Google Chrome. And I don't know if you can actually see that in the video. But um, that lock icon, that security lock icon has now been uh, where you view, you view your site information. That's been changed now to that tune icon. And apparently, according to the Chromium team, uh, the lock icon was causing a bit of confusion. And uh, um, although the icon has been changed, everything else remains exactly the same. So that seems now to be hidden through the different Chromium-based web browsers. Then heading to the next, um, they've updated the Brave Settings page to load in a new tab when accessed via the Settings button in the sidebar. So just to demonstrate, if we head back to the sidebar and we click on the Settings button, um, at the bottom of the sidebar, click on that. That now opens up um, the settings in a new tab. And um, if you are using settings a lot, that might be a handy little addition. Then just to mention a couple of the final four improvements and fixes just for the purpose of today's video. And um, they've updated cosmetic filtering to force aggressive blocking on YouTube. So that would be part of your uh, Brave Shields. Um, they fixed the new tab page displaying the same background image in certain cases. And I have actually noticed that. So that's something that's uh, been affecting me. So that new tab uh, that new tab page now shouldn't display the same image um, in certain cases. And they've also rolled out a fix 
for the ad block lists. And then over and above that, and we've also got a couple of other little improvements, but I've just gone through some of the key highlights which I thought you may be interested in. And um, if we just head back to our About Brave page and we click on the actual version, this takes us over to the release notes. And as I mentioned, with every um, Brave version upgrade, Web3, as you can see, which is part of the crypto side of the and the wallet side of the actual browser, gets a lot of add-ons, improvements, updates, and fixes with every major version upgrade. Too many to mention for this uh, video, and we would be here all day if I went through all of this. But if you want more info, just click on that version on the About page. And um, if you are using the um, crypto side of things and the wallet, um, you might find that a bit of um, useful information. And just take note here, they also say, note for Mac OS users, Mac OS 10.15 uh, Catalina is required now um, if you are obviously upgrading to this latest version. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.